ChatGPT Code Interpreter is finally here and its capabilities are absolutely incredible. From data visualization to video editing, Code Interpreter will change the way you use ChatGPT forever. And on humans, let me scale your AI overload and ChatGPT Code Interpreter is insane. There are so many things that you can do with it and yet it kind of seems like people are sleeping on it for some reason. So in this video, I will show you a bunch of cool applications for this new addition that you will actually want to use ChatGPT for. Now, what is Code Interpreter? Well, it's actually an experimental ChatGPT model that can use Python, handle uploads and downloads inside a dedicated virtual environment, almost as if you had your own mini computer session running inside GPT-4. Now, as of right now, it's only available for paid ChatGPT Plus users, and to activate it, you need to go here, click on Settings, then in Beta Features, you need to click here to enable Code Interpreter. And then if you click on GPT-4, you're gonna see here Code Interpreter Beta. And now you're ready to use this new model. Model. And this new model can do a lot of cool stuff. And I'm gonna tell it to you right now, no matter who you are, you're gonna find a good use for it. Now the first cool thing that you can do with it, obviously, is data visualization. So you can do is, for example, import some data, like a CSV file for example, and then ask GPT-4 to interpret the data and then generate some cool graphics from that data. Now if you're wondering in what exact situation you can use it for, well let's say that for example you're making a study about stock data and you want to extrapolate some data from that stock data, well instead of doing this manually, you can do it inside Code Interpreter. So as an actual example, let's take the Tesla stock data from 2010 to 2020 that you can find on a website like Kaggle.com, just create a new account and then click on this little button right here, and then inside ChatGPT you're gonna click on this little button right here to upload a new file, you're gonna select the CSV file that you downloaded from the Kaggle website, and then for the prompt you're gonna put something like, here's the EOD data from Tesla stock from 2010 to 2020. Take a look and tell me what you think. And now if I press enter, the code interpreter will start importing the data that I just uploaded, will put it inside a table, and then give you a short analysis of the data that you just provided. But now if I write something like, Help me visualize the data in a beautiful graph and then tell me what correlation information you can extrapolate from the data. And then for my prompt, it will give you a bunch of information and observation from the data that we inputted above, like the stock price, the trading volume, the correlation between price and volume, etc, etc. Now for some reason it did not display the graph properly, so I ask again to show me the image of the graph and display it in a PNG format, and for this it gave me a download link, and once you download the PNG, it will look something like this, which again is really super impressive. By only using a simple CSV file, not only we got a bunch of information and extrapolated data, but we also got a pretty cool graph created in only a few seconds. I mean, I remember doing something like this in school back in my days, and it would take me hours if not days. And now everything is done automatically in only a few seconds. Man, I kinda wanna cry right now. But this is just the beginning. This is just one of the way to use the ChatGPT code interpreter. Because here, for example, we did this with the Tesla stock data, but you can do this with any data that you want. So for example, let's say that you are a famous YouTuber like me and you want to have some extra information or to extrapolate some data from your own analytics. So you go inside your YouTube analytics, you go into something like traffic source, you click here to extract the data, now you're gonna upload a CSV file, then you're gonna write your prompt something like, here's some traffic data about my YouTube channel, help me visualize the data in a beautiful graph in JPEG format and tell me what correlation information you you can extrapolate from that data. And I get something like this, a bunch of amazing graphs, it shows me like 4 different graphs sorted by traffic source, we got views by traffic source, watch time by traffic source, the impressions, the click through rate, and everything is organized very neatly so that you can understand it very easily. And if you don't understand any of those graphs and you need some additional help, well no worries because if you scroll down, you will see a bunch of explanation about what your data actually means. It will find all the correlation and explain all the data for you. I mean this is absolutely incredible. With just one simple CSV file and a simple prompt, you get all of those informations and graphs and all of those explanations done in only a few seconds. Meaning that now you can take all of those data and make better decisions for the future of your YouTube channel. And of course if I wanted to I could keep going, I could even add more and more information, more and more CSV file to get more and more graphs and more correlation, but this is really just a small example of the type of visualization that you can do with Code Interpreter. I mean this is really super valuable 
valuable information. And if you wanted to do it manually, it would take you hours. But not anymore because everything is done for you. And that's really super impressive. And of course, you can do this with any data set that you want. Again, you can use a website like Kaggle.com to find a bunch of data set, like for example, the USA real estate, and then ask ChatGPT to give you like a visualization of the data so that you can take better decision if you want to buy a home, for example, or even just use it with your own data. It's really up to you. So yeah, Code Interpreter is really good at data visualization, and you should definitely try this out yourself. This is really worth it. It's gonna save you a bunch of time. Now, the second cool thing that the Code Interpreter can do is actually analyze a text photo, extract the text from that image, and then solve the problem from that photo. So for example, I just stumbled upon this little image from this website that says the math problem that caused people across the world to question their intelligence. And you'll basically see this little very strange math question that basically says Albert and Bernard just become friends with Cheryl and they want to know when her birthday is. Cheryl gives them a list of 10 possible dates and then tells Albert and Bernard separately the month and the day of her birthday respectively. Albert says, I don't know where Cheryl's birthday is, but I know that Bernard does not know too. Bernard says, at first I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but I know now. Then Albert says, then I also know when Cheryl's birthday is. And the final question is, so, when is Cheryl's birthday? Now, if you haven't understood anything from the question, that's normal. It's supposed to be extremely confusing. But as you can see right here, this is simply a photo of a logic problem that you need to solve. So let's say that you are in school and this is the problem that you get, like a school homework, and you need to find a solution. And instead of typing the entire problem inside GPT-4, what you can do instead is simply save the image. Then in Code Interpreter, you're going to upload your image and then you're going to input your prompt to something like read this image and solve the problem. And now if I press enter, and just like that, Code Interpreter will actually use OCR to extract the text from the image, then analyze the text and try to solve the problem. Here we got the entire explanation of the problem, and finally we got the solution, which is July 16th. And if you go back to the original website and scroll down, you see that indeed the final answer is July 16th. So indeed, ChatGPT with Code Interpreter is correct. And I mean, I gotta say, this is some really cool stuff. So if, for example, you are at school and you have like a math problem that you want to solve, you don't even need to type the problem inside ChatGPT yourself. Now you can simply take a picture and ask Code Interpreter to solve the problem. I mean, this is some really cool stuff. I really wish I had that when I was back in school. Now, unfortunately, as of right now, the OCR does not work with handwriting unless you have some very clean handwriting. So to be able to use that feature, you're gonna need to have something like this, which is basically typed by a computer for the OCR to work perfectly. But I mean, even with this, it's still really, really cool. And again, it will save you a bunch of time. So that's always good. And the next cool thing that you can do inside Code Interpreter is being able to read a very long file. So for example, let's say that you have a very complex paper that you want to understand more simply, and the content is way too long to be able to paste inside GPT-4, well, you can simply upload the entire file inside Code Interpreter. So for example, in this case, I have the long net paper, scaling transformers to 1 billion tokens, a super interesting paper that I talked about in my previous video that if you haven't watched already I definitely recommend you to do so. It is super interesting but now let's say that I want a full explanation of this paper. I can simply save this paper on my computer then upload the file and then you can write your prompt so something like explain this paper as easily as possible. And now if I press enter and then just like that we get a small summary of the PDF file that we just uploaded. We got the title, we got a small description, we get the advantages of the technique etc etc. And if you want to keep going you can. It is extremely similar to the video that I made about private GPT, where you could talk to your PDF files, but this time you can do this with ChatGPT. And what's even really really cool with this, is that not only you can keep adding and asking more information, but you can also ask Code Interpreter to create an image based on that data. So for example, if I write something like, create a visual word cloud PNG image from that data, and now if I press enter, and we get something like this. And if you don't know what a word cloud is, it's basically a visualization that displays the most used words in a text. So basically, as you can see in that entire paper, the most common word is own, then you see here attention, transformer, model, dilated attention, etc, etc. So if for example you have a paper or some other data that you want to create a visual word cloud of, well you can simply use Code Interpreter to do it for you. And all of that again in only a few seconds. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now the next cool thing that you probably didn't know you can do with Code Interpreter is actually image manipulation. So for example, if I upload an image, let's 
say of this cool portrait of a llama and now if I ask something like make this image black and white and just like that in a few seconds your image is now made in black and white. So you don't even need to use Photoshop to do it, you can do it inside Code Interpreter just by using simple text language. And you can even keep going, so for example let's say that I want to resize that image and crop it maybe a vertical version of that. So let's say, so if I say something like resize and crop that image in a 9 by 16 ratio in the middle and you get something like this. Perfectly exactly what I asked for. And again this is only just the beginning, you can also do like edge detection, format conversion, color correction etc etc. So basically if you don't know how to use Photoshop and you need something done very quickly, well for this you can simply use Code Interpreter. So again yeah this is some really cool stuff. But apart from image manipulation did you know that you can also do some video editing? That's right. And you can even create full on GIFs without any initial image. So for example let me create some very simple GIF. So if I input something like make a 512 by 512 GIF with falling green matrix letters, assume no fonts, 30 frames, 5 FPS, no talk, just go. And the reason why you put this is because very often code interpreter tends to talk a lot and explain what he's doing instead of actually doing the task. But now if I press enter and just like that with a very simple prompt we created a GIF matrix effect. Now again it's not exactly perfect obviously but with only using a simple prompt it's still pretty impressive. And it created a GIF from scratch. That's still pretty cool. And the next thing that you can do is create a small video. So for example if I say something like here is a GIF, make a 5 seconds mp4 video with a dramatic slow zoom in. So now if I upload my GIF and now press enter and there you go now to a few seconds in a bunch of explanation we get like the 5 seconds mp4 video with a slow zoom in and now if I click on download the video we get something like this which is I mean yeah, exactly what I asked for. That's really good. So as you can see with only a simple GIF, we now created an entire MP4 video with a slow zoom in, just by using Code Interpreter. That's really amazing. I really don't think that a lot of you knew that you could do this inside GPT-4. That's really some impressive stuff. Now the next thing that you could do with Code Interpreter, which is actually a little bit more for artist and illustrator, is the ability to extract colors from an image to create a color palette. So for example, let's say that you have this beautiful image that you want to create a color palette of, instead of going on a website like colors.com and then generate some random color palettes, you can actually come here in Code Interpreter, upload your image and then ask something like create a script that extracts the top 5 colors from the picture I uploaded, then make it into a palette.png image for me to download. And now if I press enter, so then it's gonna use a technique called k means cluttering, it will then extract 5 different colors and then create a palette in a PNG format from those 5 colors. So now if I click on the link, we get something like this, which is exactly what I asked for, which is a color palette from the image that we just uploaded. So if you are an artist or an illustrator and you're looking for some cool color palette, Again, instead of using a website like colors.co, which will basically always give you the same kind of palettes, you can go online, find an image that you like, with the mood that you like, and then use Code Interpreter to extract 5 colors from the image that you uploaded, which will definitely save you time and increase your productivity and make those creative juice flowing. And then finally, the last cool trick that I want to show you is that you can also use Code Interpreter to create a simple QR code for your website or in my case, the new AI newsletter that I launched a few days ago. So if you want to stay up to date with the latest AI news, I definitely recommend you to subscribe. But for this example, I'm simply gonna use the URL and then in my prompt, I'm gonna put something like create a QR code for then followed by the URL and then show it to me. And now if I press enter and we get something like this, which is indeed the QR code for my AI newsletter. And if you are a smartphone right now, you should try it out. And to show you that it actually works, I'm actually gonna save the image, then use a website like 4qrcode.com, upload my image, and as you can see, we have my The AI Gaze URL, which basically brings you to the AI newsletter subscribe page. So yeah, this QR code works perfectly well. And although you can of course do this with other websites, it's still pretty cool that you can do all of this inside GPT-4. So yeah, there you go, this was ChatGPT Code Interpreter. I really super super cool and super powerful addition to the GPT-4 formula and you should definitely try it out. Try it out exactly like my free AI newsletter that will allow you to always stay up to date with the latest AI news, tools and research written by myself. So if you're interested in that, the link for it will be in the description down below. And there we are with folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my YouTube and Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the ones who support me so I can make these videos for you so thank you so much and i'll see you guys next time bye bye